This movie continues our introduction to Keel technology by demonstrating the use of Keel in a real-world application, in this case an intelligent traffic light. This simple demonstration shows how three analog sensors can easily be integrated into a cognitive model that can be deployed in a simple device. In this case, we are accumulating three risk factors and controlling the length of time that the yellow light will remain on. The assumption is that collisions at an intersection can be reduced if the yellow light remains on longer, giving the drivers longer time to react. The objective is also to keep the traffic moving through the intersection without any extra delays if the risk factors are low. Details of the design requirements can be found on ComSim's website in the documentation associated with the intelligent traffic light demonstration. Now, before we look at the Keel source code, let's look at the model in its simulated form. Note the gray bands at the left side of the speed and traffic volume graphs. These represent the low speed and low traffic ranges that will block increased risk no matter how the other factors are measured. For example, I will indicate one car moving through the intersection at a very high speed. No increased risk is accumulated. Similarly, if the speed is very low and the traffic volume is high, no increased risk is calculated. Only when I detect speed above the low speed band and traffic above the low traffic band will the system start to accumulate risk. When I show the impact of the weather sensor, note that there is no impact when the weather detector measures in the range of 0 to 50. Only when the weather sensor measures above 50 is there an impact on risk. And only when maximum speed, maximum traffic volume, and the worst weather conditions are detected together will the maximum risk be calculated. Now it's time to look at the Keel source code behind the animation. From the Keel toolkit, we will open the traffic project. It has been saved as an XML file. Note the blue bar at the right. This indicates that portions of the design are presently hidden. Different views of the design have been created. This one just shows the external inputs and outputs. Here we are showing that the source code is dynamic. I can manipulate the inputs and see the system respond. Because the designs can sometimes become complex, it is common to create different views of the design. In this case, I will open a view that was created to show all of the logic associated with speed. I can manipulate the speed input and see how the information propagates through the design and ends up impacting risk. Now I will return to the runtime view. Now I want to demonstrate the 3D graphing capabilities. Drawing graphs is done to help visualize more complex interrelationships. In this case, I will create a graph that shows how speed and traffic signals are integrated to impact risk. The Keel Toolkit also incorporates a dashboard. This allows organizing inputs into a simple operator interface. I can manipulate the inputs in the Keel source code or from the dashboard. I can set a range of real world values for each input and I can set very specific floating point values when I want to test a specific situation. During development, it is common to spend some of your time testing the model. Sometimes it is necessary to change labels and fix static values, like changing the importance of speed in this design. Every input and output can be individually edited. Additional descriptive text can be added for documentation.
This concludes the review of the Keel Dynamic Graphical Language associated with this demonstration. You can play with this demonstration on ComSim's website. It is called the Intelligent Traffic Light and is located in the Demos area on ComSim's website, www.compsim.com.